I think Saison DuPont is one of the best beers in the world. But recently, I had the rare opportunity to discuss and even taste this beer with Brasserie DuPont's fourth generation owner and brewer, Olivier Didica. Now, this segment was just one part of my long visit there at Brasserie DuPont, so check out the other videos to see more. The links are in the description, and there's a ton of other resources there, too. We want to have a, a beer, and we want to, to, to finish, uh, so we can uh, have a saison. And, uh... If you, you go back to the, to the period of the, the farm breweries, you did not have glasses with a... Um, you, you had simple glasses. Yeah. So it's why we, we prefer to use a Willy Becher glass because uh, we think it's the, the closest to the um, original glass. Cheers. Cheers. We have quite a lot of um, a phenol phenolic notes. Um, yes coming from the from the from the yeast and yeast and, um, and malt but also some uh, some citrus citrus notes um, but phenolic is really really present uh, fruity notes also uh, not only citrus but uh, also um, white white fruit uh, but most typical for me is the phenolic uh, and uh, also the, the, the bitterness, uh, again, phenolic um, on, on the taste. Um, quite dry, but uh, still some sugar in this one because it's not uh, an old beer, it's a beer from September. So we have uh, just uh, six, uh, six, seven weeks. So uh, it, it could be older to, to, have, to, to be dry and drier because uh, our yeast will uh, transform the sugars into alcohol and cranberry gas during at least six months. Uh, that goes slowly uh, and week after week, months after months, the, the taste of the beer will, uh, will change. If you store the beer in a, in a cellar uh, or at the correct temperature, just keep it for 18 months, uh, even longer, but between six and 18 months, it's really interesting because uh, you, you, you gain more and more complexity um, and some exchanges between yeast and beer and beer and yeast and it's quite, uh, quite nice. Yeah, so some people like to, 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 to keep it for four years, uh, but uh, again, it depends on the temperature, the moisture and uh, different things. Uh, you, anyway, you need to, to avoid any uh, change, uh, perpetual change, uh, if you can maintain something interesting, uh, if, if your idea is to store for, for, for a long time, it's better to, to store uh, horizontally. In the family, we, we often open bottles for three years, four years, five years, but not, not, not 20 years, but the same for some beer. So you have people do, that enjoy a beer from six months. 12 months, some people want to, to, to drink beer from three years, but it's totally, totally different. So I think you, you can have a lot of uh, complexity and a lot of um, um, finesse, uh, fine beers uh, between uh, six and uh, 18 months, it's really. Uh... The yeast will ferment all the sugars, so you, you, you obtain a beer without any sugar. Uh, yeah. So it is really refreshing, uh, and you don't have this strange association between sugar and bitterness. That's not always the the most interesting association, and so you you lose it. It's a good thing, um, but also um, the yeast can also um, release some things in the beers, and and you have some more complexity, more more body uh, in the beer. So. It's drier, but with an interesting body. Uh, that's an interesting. No. We have sulfur, sulfur notes. Uh, that, that's typical of our yeast, but it's not coming from diet yeast. Uh, but um, we don't, we do not autolyze of the yeast. We, we bottle the beer with a really small, but really small homeopathic uh. dose of yeast, of, of uh, new yeast, 
coming from a culture. Uh, and that is why we need to be so careful with the position of the bottles and because we just put an incredible small amount of yeast, of yeast sorry, in the beer and so we need to, to multiply this, this, this yeast in the, in, the, in the bottle, that's difficult. But uh, no, all this yeast is young yeast, new yeast. Okay. And it's why we, can, we are able to, to store the beer for such a long time without uh, autolysis of, uh, of the yeast. It's also a stress if you, if you move uh, the bottle every seven days. Uh, <laughs> so it's not a good thing. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Just leave it. Yeah. Uh, this time they were uh, doing the, the second fermentation in wood barrels. Right. And then from the wood barrels they were filling uh, crush and uh, something like this to, to, to serve the beer. So it's difficult to say what was the carbonation level of uh, the beer. But as soon as we started to, to move to the, to the bottles uh, at my grandfather's time, uh, the idea was to, to do a kind of um, champagne beer. Uh, it's why they use also the, the, the green bottles uh, at this time. And so, and also the, they were convinced, and I think uh, it was uh, right. The carbonatation of the beer helps also for the tasting of the beer, because uh, yeah. dry beer, carbonated beer, that works, it's a nice couple also. Uh, that, was the, that was the idea. Uh, and also, um, again, or yeast, but or yeast uh, is able to, to ferment any sugar. And so, uh, month after month, the carbonatation will be more and more uh, higher. Yeah. It's not true betonomyces, but it's uh, something... Uh, you spoke about uh, sweet fruit notes, uh, I spoke also about phenolic, uh, you can sometimes find some wood also, so yeah. it's... Uh, an, an, an hybrid yes, 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 yes. Something difficult to describe because Yet the temperature uh, is really strange because a normal top fermentation yeast could not survive to 30, 35, 39, 40 degrees. Uh, it's not a normal temperature. But if, we, if you try to ferment, to do the fermentation at uh, 15 or 16 degrees Celsius, <laughs> she will not work. She will not accept. So, so yes, that my grandfather uh, isolated in uh, 1940. So before this period, we don't know. Um, but since 1940, it's uh, it's the same yeast. But um, he was uh, really interested by all the technology, um, and um, he worked with uh, two of uh, his children, my uncle, who is in charge of the production and one of uh, his daughter that was also a microbiologist. And so uh, they worked for the brewery, but also for other breweries, for uh, different things. Uh, and so he liked, he liked to do a lot of small research for about uh, everything. And, and he traveled a lot also for, to, to, to install breweries in, uh, in, in Africa, in, uh, in Asia. Uh, yeah. At this time, he was really a pioneer. For this, uh, we, we brew the beer, we mature the beer, and then we have a... It's the only size, bottle size for which we do that, but uh, after maturation, we, we just filter the beer like, like we do for kegs, and the beer is going to another brewery to, to, fill, the, to fill the cans. Okay. Yeah. For the moment, it's a kind of uh, experience on a single market, yeah. it is quite easy for, for us to, to do this. Yeah? And uh, our idea is to, to do the same, but not for Saison Dupont. We want to do, uh, to, to fill Saison Dupont dry hopping in cans. Um, and for that, we think to, to, to use a mobile canning system. Yeah. Yeah? And uh, the next step could be to, to, to have our own can filling system, but for the moment it's, it's not uh, in, it's not in the pipeline. Uh, we we just we just experiment. The US market is uh, was asking for for this. Yes. Uh, we are not again against 
Uh, this right. why not? Uh, because we do cakes, so uh, can and cakes, we think it's quite the, the same thing. But personally, I I shouldn't I should not have choose the Saison du Pont to do this because uh, I think it's more interesting with Saison du Pont dry hopping. But the importer wanted to have the Saison du Pont, so uh, <laughs> it's an it's an it's experiment. An experiment. <laughs> it's, yeah, but but I think it's a it's a chance to 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 be able to do this on a single market. Uh, and now we are just waiting. We did only um, two filling. We do the next one uh, in two weeks. See, we, we, we want to, to change some, to, to, to adapt some, some things in order to be more convinced by, by, the, by the product. Uh, this is just the, the fine tuning now that we need to, to do. So check out the other videos to see more. The links are in the description and there's a ton of other resources there too.